Hello friends, I am back with another story. Listen like an elephant. I have also talked about listening skills in my previous videos, but today let's listen and listen with elephant's ears. Let's see what the book has to say. It's a beautifully illustrated, colorful book. Let's read. Elephant has really big ears. Why? She loves to listen. With her really big ears, Elephant can hear her friends from very far away. Where are your ears? Touch your ears. Are they in place? Take a long breath in and let it all the way out. Hold your body still. Listen, there are so many sounds. Clang, pop, thud, whoosh, snap, ding, screech. From the right and the left, from up high and down low, from far away and up close. Listen. What do you hear? Listen. Now what do you hear? Take a long breath in and let it all the way out. Feel focused wherever you are. Focus like an elephant with this thoughtful listening moment. So dear friends, today we are talking about mindfulness. Most of the time we've seen teachers telling students pay attention, listen carefully, don't get distracted but they do not tell them how to do it, how to be mindful of this moment. Most of us as adults, we focus either on our past or our own future, ruminating about our past, worrying about our future, we forget to live today. So if from the beginning, from the grassroot levels, we talk to our children, instead of always telling them to keep quiet, pay attention, be careful, be this, concentrate, we take first five minutes of our class and the last period of the school teaching how to be mindful, how to be aware of the things around, how to walk with mindfulness, how to eat with mindfulness, how to observe things, how to listen things. When you close your eyes, deep breathe in, breathe out, breathing in, I am breathing happiness and health, breathing out, I take out all my worries and stresses. We start doing, start our classes with five minutes of mindfulness. Most of the time, students become very restless. Their attention span is very less. So teaching mindfulness is very effective response to stress and enhances neurological process called executive function or the ability to organize tasks, manage time, set priorities, and make decisions. Children, including those diagnosed with stress-related disorders, they can benefit from learning to focus their attention, becoming less reactive and more compassionate with themselves and others. Buddha says, 
mindfulness is a source of happiness we all have seeds of mindfulness within us but we often forget to water those seeds so today let's start enhancing the seeds let's start watering the seeds of mindfulness this will not only reduce stress it reduces in anxiety levels when they deep breathe in when they deep breathe out even if five times you tell them to deep breathe in deep breathe out pay attention listen to the noises the voices around you children they get into the routine of being mindful even as grown ups we get very stressed we have so many worries to ponder over in day to day life so practicing mindfulness helps dear friends so in my workshops i try to include one reading one story along with the concept and a life skill so it's a holistic development my aim is to have holistic development of the child it's not just about finishing curriculum concentrating on only on the learning outcome which is how to how to prepare them for exams how do they fare in their assessments it's a journey which should be right from the beginning how to prepare them for life teaching is more to do with preparation for life thank you keep watching this is indu punch goodbye